Hello. In preparation of this field trip this week to the zoo, we're doing top 10 zoo animals ever. Okay, so with this video comes a little fun challenge. On Friday, we're going to the zoo, and we have a challenge for those of you who go out to the zoo. Who, for whoever can find the most animals at the zoo that were on our list, you get a special prize. And uh, come to me and Nick and tell us how many animals you found, any pictures you took with them, if so. Now, uh, Nick, do you want to take our number one animal? Absolutely. Our number one zoo animal is the blobfish. This thing looks like if you took a piece of gum, chewed it up, and spit it out, put it in the water. Maybe slap some googly eyes on it and let it float around. So what's so special about the blobfish? Absolutely nothing, Daniel. Fantastic. Now, number two is the naked mole rat, and it sounds as, uh, it's, uh, as ugly as it sounds. Now, uh, the naked mole, if you need a confidence booster, just look at the naked mole rat. What's so special about this mole rat? The thing literally has teeth on its face. Not inside its mouth. On its face. Impressive. All right, number three is the two-toed sloth. You ever seen Ice Age? This thing's all over it, hanging from trees, walking around, doing whatever. You know, you see it everywhere. Mm -hmm. What else you want? And the number four is one uh, near and new to my heart, and that's Disney. And if you haven't guessed it already, it's Simba. Not all lions, just Simba. Now, what's so special about Simba? Uh, well, you just can't wait to be king. Absolutely. All right, number five are tree frogs. You know, you go to the zoo, we got a little rainforest exhibit. Tree frogs are everywhere. You can't go 10 feet without seeing one of these things. They're just everywhere. And on number six, we have bees. Now, bees make honey. Honey go on biscuits. And without honey, we don't want biscuits. Exactly. All right, number seven is the common zebra. These things are just like horses, but African. They just run around and, you know, they're striped. I mean, that's pretty great if I do say myself. We got a zebra right here, sponsored by the zebras. All right, and uh, number eight is the flamingo. Now you may wonder why the flamingo is so high up our list. It's the one you normally walk past by in the zoo and just think it's the garden exhibit. Well, fun fact about the flamingo, it literally eats so many shrimp, the thing turns pink. It's not born pink. It turns pink because it eats so many shrimps. Now if I had a superpower based on an animal, that would be a flamingo. All right, number nine on our list is a very special guest. Number nine spot is Harambe from the Cincinnati Zoo. I'll go with All right. Now number uh, ten, the top animal on our list is another uh, emotional one. And that's the that's the stingray, the only animal gutsy enough to swim with Steve Irwin. Join us next week for more videos on our MRA Publications too. Thank you. Hi, right, thanks for watching. Join us next week for more videos from the MRA Publications channel. See ya.